What? You were expecting another set of intermissions? No, we're going straight to the finals. I do wish. Any... But what about my entertainment, James? <laughs> well, you're going to get your entertainment whether you like it or not, because uh, now we're bringing out the monkeys. Oh, God. All right. Huh. Oh, the monkey squad. But yeah, no, it's time to it's time to get to the big tournament finals. They're like a big bone squad of monkeys. So this first match is gonna Okay, we're just gonna be we're just gonna come clean. This first match is the one that has all the, the, the big weight on it. And I'm I just came back from my resort trip to Tahiti. <laughs> so uh join us in the <laughs> what will be the only like true masterful competition between i get to summon freaking miyamoto what do you got what the fuck Wait, what? <laughs> that's right uh on uh, logan's end he he was able to get the monkey named miyamoto oh i think he was it, from I the uh, i think it's... he was from the ninja castle in the second game meanwhile hell goes in for a rough trip uh, otherwise uh other than that um yeah <laughs> it's, again, all, this... it's all monkey madness from here <laughs> she's like what is going on here she, she ran into the wrong server is what happened anyway so apart from she, that she... Uh, you, yeah, enter, you enter the wrong server, baby. This is the only game that we're really going to be able to put all of our, like, might into. Or is it Final 2 that I'm thinking of? I think Final 1, there's still a little bit of leeway. What? Oh, uh, for, oh, for this one? Uh, there's still a little bit of leeway. It's with the very last bit of the finals okay, where final you're expected, two, right. to, expected to pretty much pull a perfect run. Okay, gotcha. okay. So, no worries. We have a little oh, bit of time. Ow. Oh no. Here he comes. Oh no. The UFO. Aliens. <laughs> oh, oh, oh God boy. goodness. How? Hell goes along with the program. Fuck him up. Oh, oh jeez. Yeah. Man. And Shit. holy crap, Hell goes Helga just wrecked us. Wrecked. Man, how come, how come we don't play as her in any traditional monkey Ape Escape game? Because she's a gamer. Did anyone catch license plate on that bow? <laughs> I mean, to some degree, she was made to be more or less a female counterpart to Spike, so I... If there ever was an Ape Escape 4, they should just totally make her the protagonist. Well, and, and, and wasn't she, wasn't she like... And we're like, fuck this! And I'll say, I mean, if they go for like the... If they go for like the boy Try protect, that again. Girl protect oh, now, again. <laughs> now replace freaking Helga with Spike, and it's like, okay, fair game now. Yeah. Must be some of the freaking sheep. Uh, also, uh, uh, well, not just that, but like, I think we were talk about this, but doesn't Helga, like, play a big role, or uh, basically does get to be... Uh, the equivalent of Spike in the Ape Escape anime? Uh, something like that, yeah. I know she's a central character. Right, right. like she was someone who they joined that's later. That's all I know. Miyamoto! Oh, oh my god, god. monkeys! Oh no, it's the monkey <laughs> million monkeys! <laughs> the million uh, monkeys! I remember using that one a lot during my run-through when playing as the people monkey. Only well, because it was funny when it slowed the game yeah. down? It's well, fun, well, it's funny, and it's, it's just a very, it's a very useful screen nuke. Right, yeah. it, it, it just remind it, he liked it because it reminded him of the Yoshi uh, Final Smash. You fucking Yoshi <laughs> Smash. Bye bye. Go. We have oh, Lord. Oh boy. Where's he going? Oh. I think oh, that's no. it. No. no. Okay. Where'd he go? Is he ever coming back? See, you threw that summon into the abyss, you fool. Crap. Well, there, Miyamoto. Do I you have know. returned. Get him. Wait, no, that's Bray Fencer with Sashi. What the fuck? There. <laughs> I have beaten him. I am victorious. You fool, and I'm already dead. I am fashionable. I have learned how to... I have a passion have... for fashion and boy. But the team monkey's like, wait a minute, you never went to Tahiti. That was us. These hips don't lie. <laughs> also, it's time for... Okay, now it's now time for another coin collect course, which... I, I'll be honest to say that I don't mind these, but out of all the courses, these ones I usually don't prefer because they basically amount to auto scrollers. Yeah, and the drag. I'll pick one already. It's either with or without the goggles. <laughs> I'm just remember, trying to remember which one's better with the freaking Skyflyer. Is it the one? Is it one with the goggles or the ones that look sad? I don't think so. The, the ones that are... I mean, you guys are skeletons, so does it really matter? I was say I don't well, think so. I think the I think the ones that are sad are the just fastest on their feet. Well, the 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 the, uh, the navy blue pants monkeys are the ones that are fast on their feet. I think the cyan pants monkeys are supposed to be the ones that are just like they're here for the free chips. <laughs> I'm here because my brother promised me we get cookies. <laughs> I'm I'm just here for the uh, for the uh, miniature hot dogs. <laughs> yeah. Really? Oh. Actually, real quick. Well, well, since we're still 
you know, we still got plenty of time to kill and, you know, watch if people Tron falls off the fucking platform. Like, um, all those, all those custom gadgets that, uh, Logan and I have been using, um, I guess it's, it goes without saying that they each have their certain perks depending on, like, the type of element that you use. Like, obviously, yes. you shoot, you shoot, like, if you attack with a, with a, uh, frosty weapon, they more or less freeze in place. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you launch them on fire, if you use a fire weapon, they get set flying for a brief bit, which is pretty much another way of saying you'll stun them for a good, for a decent while. It's as while. if you fell in lava, which causes you to jump. Kind of, yeah. Um, there's that. Um, with the electricity, with the, like, anything with electricity on it, when you whack someone with it, they don't stay stunned, they don't stay down for very long, but while they're, for lack of a better, they've been hit with the electricity, they're somewhat paralyzed. They, ergo, they can't use their, you can't use your weapons for a little bit. Ah. Which is why, in some cases, it can actually be pretty devastating, especially in these platforming stages. If you can, like, say, as the screen's about to reach the end, if you stun somebody so they can't use their Sky Flyer or Speed. Right. Stuff like this is where the electric, like the electrically powered gadgets, would come in most handy. Right. Uh -huh. But other, other than that, t other than that, typically when it came to this, James and I mm. usually preferred to have at least one of every element equipped because there's no reason not to. Oh, of course not. Like, there's there's, en there's enough balls. of them to, re to uh, make the most out of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but Though I also know that... Actually, it's funny, too, because I think the elementally powered gadgets are mostly with, like, the stun club or the dash hoop. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, not him this again. Oh, here again. we go again. I'm gonna stay down here. Oh. This is my Sky Flyer. I but, um, curse speaking... the... <laughs> With my last breath. dying breath, I oh, curse boy. the professor! <laughs> What did I do? What did I do? <laughs> He's watching the recording. I, I swear I did nothing. Uh, th but at this point, the I only other thing we're trying to do. Anything. The other thing Throw is spike off the edge one time, and people just won't let it go. Other than throw that, you off a ledge. <laughs> you throw a monkey off the building once, and they call you the monkey building thrower. But mm -hmm. to, but to slap a spike once. No, the way. And they call uh, you a spike slapper. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah. I'll, Oh, I would... oh no! At this point, the other thing we're trying to do. Is... do. Uh, the, other th the other thing we're trying to do is we're trying to eliminate the other people because uh, the, the they other get thing in the way. The... Right, and if you do take them out entirely, then they do not respawn if their health reaches zero all the way. Oh. And there's Jeez. no like revival kick or whatever. <laughs> nope, nope. If you lose, it... because there's because there's so many health packs everywhere. So for instance, yeah, people Tron is out. They are com he is not coming back anymore. He's dead. Which is good because it means more coins to the rest of us. Yep. Then uh, uh, you're free from uh, fire infected robot monkeys. Uh -oh, Pretty much. That's um, Meanwhile, actually, I wonder who's going to win this one. One other thing I will say is that um, what, uh, certain gadgets are elementally charged, though. But for um, the rare exception to that, ironically, is the Skyflyer because it's technically not even a weapon per se. It's it's a it's a maneuverability sort of gadget. So instead of elements, they primarily base them off of like the native stat uh, stats of the thing. Like there's mm -hmm. a type of like there's a type of Skyflyer that can actually let you like soar immediately higher or float a little longer or heck maybe there, there's one that actually does have offensive capabilities like this like a literal freaking um, meat cleaver. So basically, oh, like, right, sky yeah. flying upwards to hit enemies above you. Pretty anyway, much. Ja anyway, James kind of... You know, the thing that I did in uh, the uh, Ape Escape 2 playthrough. Yes. yes. <laughs> I want to... I just want to learn how to walk on air like that one rare monkey did. Well, first off, you have to put on airs. I know it. Secondly, you have to be a Houdini. I told them, but I didn't want... Okay, now it's time for another... You know, F-Boats. You know? Yeah, boats, you know. I, what did they ever do to us? Yeah, what have, what, what have boats contributed to society? <laughs> that's right. Oh, that's right. Um, there is only, there's only one uh, customization option for the boats, and it's to give it ice properties. Like, for the case of Team Monkey, you're literally driving on two penguins. Aww. And I'm, and I'm swimming for dear life on this ice bridge. And I forget what it does. I guess this can just, like, if you bump into anybody, you can, like, freeze them momentarily. Uh, no, I think, I think it's more so a matter that you launch ice missiles. Oh. I really like the look at this stage too. This remind this now this this kind of like art style here reminds me a lot more of like the uh, the Jake race segments from Ape Escape One. Oh, no, definitely. that was Very definitely fun. the uh, race finish uh, course that we did more of that. Right, those two. But, like on, again, this this entire freaking game may as well just be an extension of all those uh, call it like those gladiator attacks from the original Ape Escape. And yeah. I will and I will still say I appreciate the ability to play these in co-op. Co-op. 
I I enjoy I enjoyed that. I like I like being able to share in the experience and not just you know, relegated find... to a single mode. Not to interrupt, but I still find it funny that you guys make like live reactions to pre-recorded footage. It's <laughs> something I enjoy. Do it's it, it's a force of habit for myself. I always figured I always felt it made the the footage more interesting and or like easier to follow. Or, ah. or in the sense of like it, it actually it's encouraged me to like playing the game in real time. With it, my it, voice! It also encourages people to be like, wait a minute, like if they had this going in another tab, they'd be like, wait a minute, what did Logan just react like an idiot to? I <laughs> what want to just see. happened? And he'll go back I and see it. I will say, real quick, I, mm -hmm. I would totally have made this into a live thing if it were for the fact that I wanted to set it up in such a way where, you know... You didn't have to do two covers. Pretty much. And also because, well, again, there's a little bit of... Okay, I'll just say this real quick. For the sake of doing the, for the sake of getting everything prepped up from the Monkey Fan Club, I kind of cheated. Oh, really? We had to do a lot of stuff. We had to grab little files. It was, long, it was a whole. Long story thing. short, is that oh, that's okay. That's what it was. If you're using the Cyan Pants Monkey, Whoa. you do get double the score. Wow. Oh, because Man. oh, that's right. Because he's so. Because otherwise, he's very. He's he, he's just a outright like uh, uh, disadvantage. He's otherwise. a lame duck. Right, for, exactly. But um, the thing I was going to say before is that um, in a, I kind of cheated in a way because um, so when you beat the game once, you're you're allowed to access the game's password screen, and uh -oh. it's through that password screen where you could literally just unlock every single, like immediately gain all every more or less every follower for the Monkey Fan Club and grab their items in the process, which saves That's a lot it. of fucking time. I must also stress. No, that. I agree. I I, I cannot imagine how long it's been taking. Funny. What's up? Do any of the codes have, like, particularly funny codes? Oh, I don't... They do. Th oh, okay. Also, Goliath Armor like Times. Now we fight the Is whole thing. Is there one that's just banana? banana? I... No. I'd have to get back to you on that. Well, anyway, our second fight with Spectre. More or less... Again, he's still in the Goliath, though this time the battle arena is a hell of a lot different. Oh, yeah, no. Uh, definitely more variety than the last one. This is kind of cool. Uh, it kind of reminds me a little bit of the uh, engine fight from Crash, where, like, basically you... You're, you, you can use certain attacks when he gets up close. Otherwise, uh, focus on using the slingshot away from the camera. Also, I'm totally not bringing mention to the fact that we're literally fighting Spectre with his fucking with his own freaking minions. <laughs> we just wanted a race. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess this is what happens when you cross Spectre's. Uh, That's all we uh, wanted. Terms of service. This is what you get for disobeying me, you stupid monkeys. Sorry, sorry that Matt's not here, but he did give us permission to continue forward. He, he got to, he got to enjoy, oh. Chris, he got to enjoy the free man. Yeah, which I mean, I'll say this much: we're not going to get much more out of Crispin's performance as Spectre until like literally the end of the game. Right, like in like an ending cutscene. That's about, about all you really. Like you does still have the occasional voice clip for these boss fights, but it's nothing like. Oh God, Whoa, we got a skyfly! Oh, skyfly! Jump! Ah. Uh. Uh. Oh, we're, we're, I mean, we, we got him. Just keep throwing and use your ultimate moves like the monkey cannon. <laughs> okay, well, that is, that was that's, the still, that's, the, that's still the weird thing, though, regarding the uh, boss fights in this game, at least with Jake Inspector. Like, Jake's are more or less the same, save for, like, a few minor tweaks here and there. Like, again, having the freaking monk, having hit that, uh, the uh, black pants monkey on the, uh, pile, on the, uh, on the uh, side seat. Nice. Whereas Spectre's fights are more or less completely different each and every time. It, 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 maybe it was like a maybe they were saying they got rushed or something. I could have I don't know. I, I actually I honestly could have seen them doing something with Jake where you would actually have to race him again just like Spectre. times. But I... what? <laughs> what? He actually sounded like an abridged. He actually did sound like an abridged series character. Like he won't be the same. No, I just like how his voice faded out before he even finished. Poor Spectre. And to think that he oh, still well. has, to think that he still hasn't learned anything by the time Ape Escape Three and Milbay, he really is just dead. He has a goal and he sticks to it. He is a very spiteful old fella. I mean, yeah, he's is literally it? the smartest of all the monkeys, and yet he still gets himself freaking wrecked by um, a bunch of kids. And and after that zookeeper, what what have happened? That zookeeper never got any more ca any more character development, did he? Like he's just he he he, 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 he was just. It was just a one-time cameo. Oh, uh, I guess. hold that thought, ladies and gentlemen. Oops. We have come to the point where now it's one or the other. Oh. So this is the part where I'm gonna give it my all, and this is just for full disclaimer, the only time I'll be giving it my all because now, yeah, now we are at the point where uh, this for the final 
set of, well, the finals, uh, you have to get 4,000 points, which requires one player and one player only to get, um, to win first place in every single event. So, James and I had a little agreement that this would be our, like, this would be the big one, where we give it our all, but afterwards we kind of... Oh, genuinely, because the game gave us zero other option, we need to, uh, we'll have to commit to, uh, you know, letting whoever wins this be the winner. For the record, though, I decided to keep the first take for the most part. Right. This is oh, a pretty fancy-looking level, by the way. Because this was, this, was before, this was before we came to the realization that, fuck, we, one of us has to freaking bite it. <laughs> also, also, real quick, now that I've been hearing the music, and I, the start of this song in particular always kept reminding me, the, the songs in this game... Sometimes they straight up they straight up feel like Sonic R songs without the vocals. Yeah, because I know. the the yeah the first few notes of this particular track remind Can me. Can you of, feel uh, the sunshine? Exactly. Yeah. I I, 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 I just hear that. Oh no! Who you summon it? Oh no! Pink! No! Oh! She angry. So Pink has a bit of a randomization mechanic to her. If you when you summon her, she'll either become super fucking angry like that and cause shockwaves. Or she'll be really happy for you and give you some helpful little items. Right, well, it's a coin toss. I guess, I guess it depends on your current oh. state, or is it just like a 50 It's completely it's random. random. Right, I'm, sne right, I'm gonna be sneaky monkey now. Let's go. Sneaky monkey five. Get him! The sneaky monkey five. I mean, Get in there. I, could, I could totally imagine that being the case where, like, a future it's a game, if there ever was one, God, Lord knows. Monkey! Lord knows, like, oh, this is, oh the, this is the base. This is the monkey that every character has from the get go. Meteor! Oh, he just shoots out meteors. I can He's summon. Creepy. Oh, not this again! Oh, that takes off so much damage. Also, I must say this is actually quite quite poetic in a way. I'm literally playing as Helga, and, and Logan's playing as her as her father's kidnappers. The writers of the writers. No, no. Uh, apart from the intermissions, is it ever? Is it ever? Is that ever elaborated on who? Created or, or, or does Helga ever acknowledge the fact that, like, oh my gosh, these are the ones who kidnapped the father, or is that completely locked to the intermission as far as the audience it's is concerned? It's mostly an intermission thing. Though I okay. do think that, I, I think there is some stake in the matter later on, but how about our next race? Oh, oh boy, okay, I think this is, yeah. Because I, because... As you saw in the last part, I was starting to kind of get the hang of it. I was trying to understand what was happening right at the very end when I pulled around that big, like, you know, uh, freaking uh, that big finish or that big, uh, uh, like, comeback victory. Now I was like, okay, I, I, I know I still have to let James win, but I'm still going to enjoy, like, doing stuff like this. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're just going to be an obstacle. <laughs> I'm not going to be an obstacle, but I am just going to, like, like, if you can, like, Get ready to hear a lot of like speed hoop like comboing sounds and then. Bye, Cassie. Bye, Cassie. And... I could still I could still hear her beautiful voice from here. I'm metal I'm mode. It's not. I'm dead. I told you I'm not dead. Oh, is that gonna be enough? Yes. <sighs> okay. And again, the Peepatron I believe is the only other character that can triple jump. So, uh, do any do either of you have a uh, particular character in, in, that you've been in, that you've been liking? How they've been looking? How they've been either playing or uh, are there little like variations and stuff so far? Well, barring the not too pleasant things you guys have talked about as gameplay, I am amused by the fact that the professor is a playable character. <laughs> He's fun. He's just a tech. He's just a tech heavy guy. He's very tech heavy. Like it's it's a matter of he's not he's a little more proficient in stuff that requires a little more combat, but otherwise, like for stuff like this, he's he's he's, he's <laughs> situational. I say not good. He, well, he's not yeah. good at platforming. He's he's a tank. He's a he's a, he he's, a, like a he's a ten he's a ten ton weight. Yeah. I kind of wish the character's individual stats were a little bit more apparent. Oh, yeah. If there was like a stat thing somewhere, I'd agree. Because I noticed that Helga is, like, she has a very, like, fast jump, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like, her uh -huh. ground speed is more adept. She's more adept at ground speed than, uh, jumping. Kind of. Well, yeah, like I said, she's kind of like, I... she plays like a sort of alternative to a spike. Unlike the people monkey that literally is just a spike clone. Right. Yeah. Uh, and then, Anyways, and then yeah, sorry, back, to, yeah, back to you... Oh, ho, 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 ho. Back to you, uh, 
I was gonna make a joke, but the time has passed, so instead I'll talk about a topic that I'm kind of curious as to what your guys' input would be on. Like, excuse me. Say for the sake of argument, Sony decides to finally pull their head out of their rectum and give us a new Ape, uh, a new Ape Escape, and I mean like an actual new original Ape Escape. Like, what would you guys like to see in that? Like, any like particular carryovers from previous games, or just anything new that they haven't done in the game yet? Uh, I'd like to see like a gadget upgrade system, kind of like Ratchet and Clank, where if like every uh, monkey you catch grants you like EXP or something. I could see that, and like you could, and then oh, I, I see what you're saying. You could use then, like you could use like monkey points to like upgrade like the the, the uh, speed of how fast you swing or not. Uh, I, I, like a lot separate abilities for your other gadgets, like the Skyflyer allowing you to fly higher. I would like that on one condition, which is that in order to balance in order to balance that out, they cannot start you off with a worse net than your base net should be. Like I, I would love oh, yeah. that if I, right. I would love that right. I would love that if by the end I really do feel like it's more powerful than it has ever been. Because uh, yeah. I've because I've seen people do that system where it's like, oh, you know, you can upgrade your net. Okay, cool. We also made it twice as slow as you're used to, so that by the time you upgrade it, it feels like it should normally fail. I'm like, dang it. Yeah, no, like, shit like that is stupid. Like, yeah, it should don't absolutely make it, be... Don't make it an unlockable incentive to restore, like, the bare basic functionality Correct. of your items. I would yeah. say, like, in a way, like, at base, you would pretty much control exactly like you would in, like, your traditional 8 skate 2 or 3 stance. Ow! But then, like, at your more pa max, like, your more powered-up self would control a little bit more, like, these games actually. Yeah, I, I, again, this this momentum right here, like it, if they were, if we were to get back a uh, Ape Escape game proper, I would again love these kind of physics in this platforming. Also, like, if I could be perfectly honest, I kind, I, I kind of like Iki's idea, though. I think a better, I think what I would have would do in that instance is more so a case where instead of like an EXP system, all the monkeys you collect can have a specific perk to them that you that, that like. Say if you grab one monkey, like you, you catch one monkey that's holding on to some sort of like uh, sky flyer power, up, for example. Mm -hmm. That will temporary enhance the not so much uh, temporary, not, not so much a temporary perks. enhancement, but more like a like chips. I see, like oh, like, lo like little so perks like, that to like give you them double damage. Yeah. But like, ah. the, like the more them to grab, the more powerful you really you literally are. No, <laughs> and I decided to be like, no! go get him, Paige. Oh jeez. But nice. unfortunately, that was my ultimate. That that was me being cocky because uh, Logan no, dodged, cool. dodged it all. Yeah, you see, yeah. that's what you get. You joke. but un but unfortunately, it was at this moment that the timeline was ruined forever. Because <laughs> and we had to do it again. And yeah, again, because and as you're again. gonna see right here, now we will both be at 1750, and now from this point forward, no matter what happens, one of us will always be 250 points. Short and I the the fact that again this game did not have any sort of like event handling for that in mind is a really cruel oversight. Yeah, like for for single player in mind, I think it's fine. Oh, yeah. For multiplayer, you need some sort of compromise. Like just so long Combined. as one of you two win, that's all that should really matter. Right, or or like again, like maybe like as far as this point, as far as like towards the end, like just combine your two totals and give them like an enhanced like co-op. Beat, uh, give, give the, you know, what I mean, like uh, instead of four thousand points, maybe ask for, th maybe ask for eight thousand points, so that together like, the two you the have to have a certain amount. Lower of the point threshold for the sake of uh, multiplayer. Yeah, uh, it, it take keep it, you know, it, it keep that in mind that you have two that you have two players playing to contribute towards this, so you don't have to lock somebody out. Otherwise, it, otherwise, as you hear, it's just it's your standard tank battle. What's there to say? Thanks. <laughs> tank, 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 tanks. But but don't worry. But, but as soon as we get as soon as we get after these finals, they'll be all behind us, and we can finally claim the trophy. As as you see here, James is trying to set up the canonical Helga's the gamer. She must win the gaming tournament. And then we can finally quit the internet. Although I totally could have used Spike or someone else if I absolutely want to, but I figured it would be more appropriate to the plot that was Helga. Ouch. Oh yeah, given we know what's gonna happen. At uh -oh. Damn it, Cassie! <laughs> Dang, That's you actually... and your you and your holographic. Wait, you both? They both? What? <laughs> Why did you both? Bullshit! What the hell is this? Oh. How did they? Well, either way, this is probably not good for us because this means that. Uh... Ow! 
Ouch. Don't look good, yeah. no Even though he's in first, we yeah, it's it always higher. Hurt. Yeah, basically the fact that since you did not win a thousand points either way, it already knows that there's no way you're gonna be able to break the title. So uh Yeah. That's bold. Yeah. Regardless regardless, I do believe James did win that first round fair and square, so uh I, I, I shall I shall be the one to sit down. So goodbye. Bye. Bye. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Sorry, Professor. It was so all for the greater good. Her and her tank. Her and her tank bike. So yeah, but, but literally since he won that first match and we did give it our our all, uh, it was just straight up like okay, I will. I, I, my there goal now, go. my goal now was to focus on taking out all the computers at any moment, and then sacrifice myself to ensure James' victory and thus our own victory. So you did it, Helga. Wait, there were only three mini games as opposed to four. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for the for the uh, final stuff, it primarily is just three mini games. But uh, that being said, we won. So uh, that's it, right? We won the game. Uh oh, no. Nope. Oh. The people trons, aka me, cheated. <laughs> Coincidentally, that cutscene can change depending on who won the tournament. Like, if it was the Peepletrons, just, they would still hold on to it, and then they'd fly straight up. <laughs> so what's happening here, and we can't understand them, don't worry. The reason why they were participating in this tournament, as well as Helga, is because within the trophy... Lies the source code to the internet. A floppy disk. You're really not wrong there, uh, Iki. That it's the heart disc. of the internet. And the data disk is now going... What the... Evil! Is that a donut on her shirt? Uh, uh no, it's that's a flower. A flower. Yeah, it's a oh. flower pattern. So, I don't know if this is the professor that, that made the monkeys, or... The Peepatrons, I mean? The Peepatrons. It's... The evil, the weird bad guy looking guy from the, uh... Intermission. Not the uh, guy next to uh, thing we saw earlier. So, the guy in charge of the Peepatrons set up this tournament just to get the trophy? The disc, more so. The disc inside the trophy. Yeah, that's pretty much how it goes. I have access to all of your credit card information. <laughs> the world shall now belong to the hands of the most repressed group of all. The gamers. <laughs> I don't know why that show had that oh, no. dialogue. So he's now made an evil cyberverse for Halloween. And the sky is orange flavor. Even the monkeys are upset. I believe we don't see the the true identity of this guy until Million Monkeys, which is uh, <clears throat> kind of a shame considering that it was only in Japan. And I figure, and because I, I figured, especially with the professor's dialogue there, I figured that he's like maybe he was like a rival. <laughs> and the monkey on the left's like, what the fuck is going on here? I don't know. It's like, man, just my luck. When we try playing fair with the humans, the humans still screw us over. Yeah, but yeah, no, I would be interested to see how that all ties around. Like, maybe, like, he was a rival of the professors or something like that. Like, because he also had... Because I'd have to imagine maybe clearly because they both were researching monkey enhancement. I mean, yeah. Or maybe he or maybe he just wanted to be a plagiarist and just caught, ate, ate the professor to a T. Yeah. Uh, I was like, hey, what's that? Well, then again, I don't... Then again, I don't think the professor would be the type to actually hunt for monkeys like that. So who is this bad guy anyways? Oh, also the Peepatrons are mad because they're being betrayed. Oh. oh. But yeah, who is this bad guy to begin with? Just a professor, just an evil science man. and Uh, just some evil McScience guy, oh. sort of. Does he even have a name? The Peepatrons! Uh, I think he does go by a certain alias, but I don't entirely know. But uh, yeah, that's it, everybody. <laughs> Game over. Okay, all bye. Of our, all of our players have been cast into the Shadow Realm. What will happen next? Just gotta say, this is our uh, last part ever because the internet's gone. Bye. <laughs> oh, don't, don't, just stay tuned because, yeah, don't worry. The tournament may be over, but this war hasn't ended yet. Yeah, because now that dickhead wants to start his own sort of high-tech tournament in the underbowels of the internet. And make the people pay premium for the internet. We are literally going to be fighting for our lives and probably the better use of co-op this game has to offer next part. Well, see ya. Wait, you mean we're trapped inside the internet? Huh, it's a lot cleaner than I thought it would be.